Okay, yeah. who am I speaking with? Beth Skalitsky from Madison Gas and Electric. Okay, and we are here at the Dane County Farmers Market on Wednesday. And what can you tell me a little bit about what your program is here? Sure. Um, our what we're doing once a month on Wednesdays are um, market walks. So uh, we've teamed up with Hallie. Um, she's our nutritionist, and okay. employees will walk from the work site up to the market to take a tour of um, the various stands. And along the way, Hallie provides nutritional education about um, why, why a certain produce is good for you or how you can cook it and um, hopefully people walk away from it better informed about um, buying local produce. Anybody here not like strawberries? Well, <laughs> really? <laughs> I don't like berries at all. Oh. <laughs> Smoothies, you can well. put, put them on your salads, you can, you can make steak, you put them on your steak, I mean you can, you can dress them up, you can use them for dessert. As you know, a great way to replace your afternoon chocolate. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> That's what it is, green. So um, I always say take a variety of greens because they're going to all act slightly differently in the body and some people can't necessarily tolerate a tougher green like a bib lettuce but they might like something that's a little bit more mild like this. Um, sugar snap peas, again a nice sweet treat. Anybody use these at all for a snack? Snack. A snack like this before bed would be a really good way to go. They also have fiber in them which is nice. Um, they're awesome. I mean, they're really. This is the time of the year that you really want to take advantage of this. Tell me what you're trying to accomplish. Um, you know, just really trying to facilitate um, what happens between picking up a vegetable and actually ingesting a vegetable or okay. fruit or whatever it may be. Um, trying to get people to think outside the box and to not be so intimidated by produce um, and being able to utilize produce so that they can stay healthy and stay strong and get lean. Do you find that um, fresh produce is something that tends to intimidate people? Yes. Because of the cooking or? Yes, very much so. Okay. And you, because you were talking about some really simple techniques, uh, sauteing and, Roasting, you know, salads. You bet. You okay. Chop it up, have it fresh. There's, I think that Trying it initially is always the hardest part. People are scared that oh, I'm going to waste four dollars on a, a bag of whatever, mm -hmm. and then just be and just trying it and getting the most out of it. Mint cooler, it is so good. Fresh mint, it, it, it's the way to go by far. And it, this is only a dollar a bunch. That's a lot of mint. That's a lot. I mean, the cucum cucumber apple mint cooler calls for about a quarter cup of mint, so you've got probably six servings there at least. It's and it smells delightful. More cilantro for anything that you're cooking with. Again, this, it, you know, actually it leaves, it does that at the top when it's naturally grown. Um, so you really can use any part of it. Okay. Most people think of cilantro and they think of just the leaves, yeah. but you can use the entire plant. Okay, well, so the other guy had it. It was, it was really leafy. Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh -huh. yeah. So I didn't know which it's different. It's different. Yep, it's just the, the sprouting okay. at the top, you bet. More, this time you got green onions, again, smelling really, really good, as you could. Um, some sugar snap peas, which we talked about already. And I think, I don't know if this, I'm not sure what this is. Hi, can I ask you a question? Is this broccoli? Oh, no, mustard green. Mustard green. Salad. Okay, so a little bit of vinegar. Yeah. A little bit of water yeah. and a few minutes on that in a skillet or a wok. Yeah. Oh, there you there go. You go. Yeah. A dollar. Yeah. So that's a great yeah. another a nice thing to try, you guys. Yeah. I run MG&E's uh, Worksite Wellness Program. Oh, okay. And um, we, as an employer, we're really trying to encourage our employees to take personal responsibility for their health. Um, through our Worksite Wellness Program, we offer a variety of different activities. Um, and this year, our uh, focus is uh, a campaign called Go Fresh, Go Local. Mm -hmm. And we're trying to encourage our employees to purchase uh, uh, fresh, locally grown produce. I think the benefits that they're going to get from a health standpoint are by far better than anything else that we could um, teach them. Fresh is the way to go. Seasonal. Seasonal. In fact, I'm a fan of, for example, tomatoes, which we'll see more of in the next month or so, to take those fresh tomatoes, buy them up, and then blanch them and freeze them yes. so that people can use them in the winter, and it really helps cut down on cost, yes. and it, they can get the most nutrients from the food. I'm a firm believer in blanching. Yeah. Uh, I was hugely intimidated by all of this. I didn't know what to do with the produce. 
you know, I felt like it was gonna go bad if I didn't, but honestly, it's so good, it's so tasty. You know, I was just talking to Bill about this, you'll eat it up. Where sometimes you'll buy things in the grocery store and you don't really know if they're gonna be good, and then you eat it, and you're like, yeah, it's so-so, this is way more than so-so. <laughs>